welcome to another video. Today we will speak about the difference between these two programmers, they are from the same company and before to start the video recording this, I want to let you to know I am not paid from this company and you will see also when I will make uh, this comparing, I will tell my honest opinion like always. Before to start and make this comparing for the subscribers that are new on this channel and also from other ones who didn't watch all my videos I want to tell you I put name over here everywhere because these companies who sell the programmers they take all is my job, my work they put it on the forums, they make screenshots I lost hours making these photos go through the menu, see the difference, making the comparing and they steal all my work and they put it on the forums and this is the reason why I make these logos everywhere. I don't like it, it's not my style, but I mind if they want to put something on the form, at least they should be honest and they should tell from where they have this information, but of course they don't do like that. And uh, this was the main reason why I put this uh, logo here, okay? I was also asked in the, another video where I make comparing and I have all this logo and somebody write to me on the uh, comments and he asked me why I put this logo everywhere because it look very ugly and uh, I hope now the, the guy he understand, I don't want to tell his name but yeah, also I don't like it to have these logos, they are like gypsy style but uh, what can I do? Okay, now let's start the comparing for those who have the VVDI Prog I will tell you from the beginning if you have this programmer and you have another for issue cloning or issue reading and writing it doesn't worth the money but it's up to you we'll go today on the menu one by one and you'll see you'll have differences but I am not so sure if you really want to pay so much money only to have a new programmer if you have the VVDI prog. But if you don't have it and you want to buy a new programmer who can help you reading the EEPROM and Flash and also you want to have it for the engine issue and for the gearbox issue then of course the Multiprog is one of the best business, one of the best deal because of his prices, okay? And he doesn't have a subscription. I mind you don't must to pay every year. But if you have, uh, let's say, another programmer or if you have the VVDI prog and you use, I don't know, different programmers for reading the issue also like this clones KT200 or I don't know, KS Kitag. Believe me, Multiprog, it doesn't work to have it because you will pay a lot of money. I don't know, I believe at this moment it's around 800, 900 euro. I will leave also a link in the description below. As I said, I'm not paid from this company and you'll see the link on the description below have nothing to do with the VVDI company. I found in another place best deal, much better price. And when I say much better price, I, I say around 100 euro cheaper than on the VVDI website. On the end, if I have warranty, why not? We don't lose the time. I will start to compare these two programmer. First of all, we will start with EEPROM. We have the EEPROM and Flash. Let's select this one. I made also few pictures where I put the difference between these two programmers it will be much easier for you to understand. Over here, honestly too, I don't find differences. I mind also if you have it, there are few of them. And based on this one, it is like 99% is similar, okay? I tell you this because I was going through the menu on both of them. I've been using the programmer for a few months and I know very good if you are based only on EEPROM and Flash, then both of them are similar, okay? Also the next menu where I'll go and we have the similar performance is the remote. You notice they are the same. And also third menu where is the similar, it's airbag. Both of these programmers they are similar, okay? Let's take one for example from here. I don't want to lose the time too much because this video will be two hours long and I try to go how fast as possible on these things where two programmers are similar because you'll see when I go deeper and deeper on, on this software you have uh, different things to see, okay? And from here what uh, a big plus will be for the multiprog is the engine issue, for example. Here you have only a few of them and here you have entire list. Over here the multiprog is clear the winner, okay? Also we'll go on the gearbox. 
over here we don't have it you still find on the menu few chips few mcus but as i said on the begin this multiprobe it have also engine issue and gearbox issue speaking about eprom and flash and all of these things it is almost similar things it have also new functions and i will show you on this video speaking about gearbox and engine vvdi prog it was not made for this kind of functions before because it's also much much older is few years ago released comparing with the multiprobe okay the next one what we'll take it is the dashboard and on the dashboard we have difference on audi and also mercedes you have the picture on the screen and it's quite uh, easy to understand the next menu will be immobilizer let's go also here on immobilizer we have the difference between uh, these two programmers on audi ford honda as you can see also on, on the picture on the screen and from another side the vvdi prog it have a really great function is for those people who work with opal you have the emo box function okay another function another menu over here it is the battery and the vvdi prog it doesn't have this function this one is a big plus for multiprobe again we take now another function from the software other let's see over here what we have it the big plus again for multiprog is the steering column on audi 8 you have the electrical plgm reverse radar ac controller on audi 4 as i said over here we don't have these things like for example we take the porsche let's see what we have here on porsche the steering gear and also the lithium battery i mind this one over here another uh, difference over here we have volkswagen with tiguan navigation i mean it is not so big difference between these two programmers but it have a new function and what i noticed they make a lot of updates maybe they don't want to push too much the vvdi prog i'm sure they can put all this function also in vvdi prog but maybe the company they want to push how much is possible the multi prog and in my opinion this is the reason why they don't put updates also on the vvdi prog okay because i'm sure they want to sell the multiprog is much more expensive is double price and this one can be a reason before to move to mcu and see the differences because over there we have a lot of things to see we take the last option from here let's close this one i mine special function from the menu you noticed we have here pin calculator this is a great function for those who need this function on vvdm multiprog you don't have it you can forget it i try to go quick to all of these cars but again work with opel company this function is great also on peugeot this is a super function you don't need all these softwares this program it uh, will make the job much easier for you okay from another side this was a plus from vvdi prog uh, this is a function what the multi prog doesn't have it but from another side we have something different over here this is not pin calculator okay this is just a windows calculator this is one of the function second one is this one and this one is very important we go a little bit through this menu let's take also japanese i mean it's not so big list with this special function over here with this emo off but at least we have something and it's a plus and always if it's something for free we should uh, be happy because we don't must to pay another thing is the conversion of these files it is for free you don't must to pay it and it's quite good function we still have two different special function we have the checks and correction the vvdi prog doesn't have it on multiprog also doesn't work so good uh, in the last time they tried to put something but related with these engine issues it's like for example on this case i have this one i i read it it doesn't make the checks and correction you can forget it it was just a try for me to see if these uh, things improve but it's not so fast i mean they need time they need people to read this kind of issues and they need original files on the system 
to be able to make this checksum correction. It takes time. When you have a new programmer, new ECU programmer released, you need a lot of time because if you pay attention on other companies, when you make the reading, you make the reading first on the server. Actually, you send the data and then you will save it on your PC. This is also the reason why in other companies, they are able to make all this checksum correction. Like FC200, he will always ask you for permission to send the data, original data. Then they will be able to make a checksum correction on that uh, issue model. And I do have it also another function over here. Give me one second. The comparing. Okay. You can compare the data. And also what you can change it over here on the menu. When you go to file, you can change to professional mode. And you have a different arrangement of the software menu. It's not quite a big difference, but it's up to you if you like it or not. When you have uh, extra function and these things works, it's much better. Like you have also a few programmers, they have a lot of things on the menu, a lot of functions, but they are not able to make what they are promising. And as I said, I buy this one because I was just curious and I sell the VVDI Prog and this was the reason. Okay, from here we jump to MCU because over there it's a big difference. I mean, it's something what it was improved. Let's move also here to MCU. First one, what we'll take it is I go straight to Motorola. And I will put it on the screen because it's much easier for you to uh, see the difference and it's much clearer because it's, there are a lot of data and I'm sure you cannot uh, make the difference if I will uh, just uh, go one by one over here in the software. And this will be also boring. The next things where I found the difference, it was on NXP. Another one also very important, it was on Infineon. I don't go from here through this flash one by one, I just I put a picture and you'll understand. This is the next one. On Atmel we do also have the uh, difference. We have also the Giga Drive for those who work with this kind of flash. Microchip. ST company. Let's take one from here. The arrangement is quite different. I like more the Multiprog. It is much easier to search for them. Like for example, you go on the search menu and you type something and you have it. It doesn't must to be name selected. It's like you just type over here and this search work really good. Okay, let's go back. And the last one where I found the difference, it was on TI. You can do it for yourself. You can download the software. You can search don't relate everything what you will see on the youtube because it can be possible then i didn't see all these differences or it be also possible then they have a new update released and of course if you'll see this video after one year and you'll ask me after one year yeah but you tell us something and we see something different is my friend is because you see this video after one year i have comments on the youtube where the people are complaining then i give uh, wrong information it was a uh, video a long time ago when i started this channel three years ago made on uh, xtool programmer i believe a30m or something like that or d from the xtool company and uh, it have problem with uh, peugeot company it doesn't communicate or it well, i don't know i don't remember so good but the comment it was really funny he said to me yeah everything works good and you give uh, wrong information it's like fuck the information you should pay attention on the internet when this video was made it was three years ago it can be when i make a video and i will tell you for example this programmer multiprog it's great programmer and i come two weeks later and i tell you look I have this mistake and he will uh, fuck your issue he will damage that microcontroller everything is possible we discover this programmer together and if something doesn't work we share this one it's not because i don't have respect for the people who leave comments there but you should also pay a little bit attention and see when this video was released and if it's three years ago everything changed look round around us what happens in the last two three years this planet is crazy and you don't have a right to complain about these fucking programmers because they are just software and programmers people are strange people are crazy then these fucking programmers i mean it's normal to improve to change the software to change the menu to be updates and if we don't speak about this if we don't uh, give information to this company they will never know where the 
problem it is. And this is what I always tell you. Give also bad feedback. Tell on YouTube, tell on the forum from these companies where the problem it is. And in this way they can release a new update and resolve that problem. But if you have a problem reading, uh, I don't know, a comfort module. And on the programmer himself, he tells you this is a good way and he will work, but you have bad experience. Just go there and write on the forum. Maybe nothing happens if only one customer write there the feedback. But if 200 customers write the feedback, they will improve. I hope you understand my point. And on the end of the video, if you'll ask me between these two, if I was suggested to buy it, I will tell you I suggested to make what you believe is better. I said what I done. I sell this one and a few weeks later I decide to buy the Multiprog just because it's free subscription. I don't have to pay it for engine issue and gearbox. I can do the checks and correction for myself. I don't need the programmer to make the checks and correction. And if you must to have a tool what can read issue flash EEPROM dashboard, then this will be a great tool. I might go for him and I tell you honest speaking about his functionality is not much over the VVDI prog, only because you have a possibility to read the issue. You saw it also for yourself, I put this all these pictures on the screen. It's not so a big difference, I mean, you don't be so crazy to change one programmer and pay at 850 euro, or I don't know how much it's on this moment, but to pay so much money only because you have uh, three type of MCU and VVDI prog doesn't have it. It doesn't worth the money to pay only because you have three special function more or you have um, a checksum correction on the menu and also this one doesn't work. Just think, think twice, make what you, you believe is better for you. If you start this business and you are new on this business and you want to have to deal with flash, MCU, all of this different type of memory, then of course it's much better if you go from the beginning with Multiprog, you are not forced to buy so many programmers after that. When you search on my channel, you see I have a lot of programmers and also when I have a job to do on Volkswagen uh, BCM module, it was an update of that module. You cannot read. And if this car, it goes to the dealership and they will make the update. There are many updates who doesn't change only the software number. It will change also the hardware number inside. Okay. And you don't have a chance to read that chip because many of them, they are secured. You can only flash, you cannot extract the data. This is how it is, okay? Again, for those who want to buy this programmer, is a link on the description below. You don't must to buy it. I'm not the seller. Don't ask me about price. Don't ask me about nothing. You can ask the company if they will give you a better price. It's just the place from where I buy all is my programmer because it is based in Europe. I don't must to pay taxes. They are also cheap and they provide a good service. We close here. I hope the video it was useful for you. And we'll see on another video with different programmers and different comparing. Bye-bye.